Okay, this is our flagship uh, construction. First started in 1999. Actually, there have been about 25 different people participating in the construction of this beautiful piece of artistic um, garden furniture. This principally is made from um, bottles, wine bottles and beer bottles, which we've collected, not drank all of, I have to, I have to say, um, over a period of time. And it's stuck together with a mixture of red earth, locally found in Ibiza, which is very sticky when you, when you make it wet, and uh, added straw, that's straw from cutting wheat, for example, uh, to make it more strong. So the basic construction is a, a frame inside, which we're going to have a look at in a minute, made of wood and other materials. And then we filled in all the spaces with bottles and a mixture of mud and straw. And on the outside, so that when it rains, because as you can see, this, this building doesn't have a roof on the top, we've covered the outside of the building with a very thin layer of white cement and sand from our own cave here on the property. White cement is the, was in fact, at the time of building this building, the least contaminating of the strong cement families. Uh, obviously Portland cement, the grey one, is very bad uh, for the environment. Its production is very polluting and also it leaves a, uh, a dangerous residue when you finish with it because concrete actually isn't biodegradable at all. So I've got about half a centimetre of um, of cement and sand on the outside and then I painted the outside with a waterproof roof paint so that the water doesn't go inside. Obviously if water enters in this building the building will dissolve as it's only made of earth. So let's go inside and have a look. It's a very beautiful building inside. You follow me. We'll go inside and have a look what's going on. This is the interior of our very unique bottle house building. I'm actually standing under a three and a half meter satellite antenna, which I was given by one of my clients when I used to do satellite TV installations. I'm actually standing in the, in the focal unit of the antenna and I can actually hear my own voice as I'm speaking because I'm, I am exactly where the receiver would be if this was pointing up in the sky and looking at the satellite. Therefore, when I speak, the, the sound waves are being bounced back into my ears and I can hear them as if I had a microphone in my hand. The other part of the roof here, the round piece over here, this is made from a bus shelter roof, which we found in the garbage here in, um, actually, it was, actually it was in the junkyard, shall I say, here in, 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 on the island of Ibiza. We put some polystyrene panels in here to give it some extra insulation and also to stop condensation because it was made of aluminium and when, uh, when uh, the air uh, full of moisture from people breathing inside the building hits the cold surface of the aluminium it would form drops and fall on your head. So we put this expanded polystyrene here also found in the garbage. It was quite, uh, quite destroyed so we cut it into pieces that we've then glued into the spaces uh, in, in, up inside the, the bus shelter roof. There's this beautiful painting on the end of here by one of our volunteers. This is a, this window here is a front car window from a Renault 4. And then underneath here we have the door from a washing machine. All the other windows on the, in the building are given to us from a friend of mine who used to have a building, a construction business, and he gave me all the windows which he didn't want from his construction building. So, we've also got this beautiful floor here made from broken tiles. Down here you can see. This was made by a quite talented um, Bolivian volunteer a few years ago. Obviously a big fan of, of Gaudi by the look of the, the artwork that's gone into it. And everything, in, in fact, in, everything inside this building is recycled or it's made it's found in the garbage even this beautiful old wood stove which we'd pay a lot of money for it's cast iron this was found at the end of the street only six kilometers from Casita Verde 
I don't think you can even buy these anymore these these days because uh, they just don't make them of this quality anymore. You can see how the walls inside here are finished off uh, in this part of the building. The bottom, the, the bottom of the bottle is on the outside, as you've seen, looking at the outside of the building. And the, the neck of the bottle, or the inside, the, 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 the top of the bottle is on the inside in this case. I've left a piece here so that you can see some of the construction details and see how the building was put together. Obviously this is not very pretty and it's a bit uncomfortable if you sit next to it. So we've covered the inside again with a mixture of red earth and straw. And then finally, there's a coat of building plaster on top of that. And it's painted with uh, natural uh, lime mixed with a, uh, a powdered uh, paint dye. Um, you can buy in any shops. This is very natural products also. So the whole inside of this building is completely natural. Over here we have an office section where we have four computer lines with internet. We have telephone and we have light. Like everywhere else on Casita Verde, we get all the electricity we need from the sun and all the communication systems are achieved via radio and satellite connections. We are not connected to any tubes or wires or pipes coming to the property. So this is a rather beautiful um, example of an echo construction. It takes a little bit of maintenance, like uh, all things that are not made of solid steel or concrete, but we find it's a very pleasant place to work. It's very fresh in the summertime with the windows open and very unique also.